We hope to extend our economic partnerships with countries who are committed to self-reliance and to fostering opportunities for job creation in both Africa and the United States. See, if he wanted to colonize Africa, he wouldn't say that we want to create jobs in Africa and the U.S. No, it's about mutual exchange. What can you do for me and I can do for you too? How can we benefit each other? That is mutual respect. That's not colonization. America is the place to do business. So come to America where you can innovate, create, and build only by insisting on fair and reciprocal trade. Can we create a system that works not just for the U.S., but for all nations? See, see, see? All the Pan-Africans influence us over here. No, you want the rest of the world to burn. You want to go to Africa and exploit Africa. You wouldn't say this. This is at the World Economic Forum in 2018. He was warning them. He was telling them, listen, care about your country. Let's make some fair trade deal. Let's change the system. Let's not exploit each other. This way, we're going to benefit each of us. And I'm going to show it to you guys soon. I'm going to give you guys an example. But it's talking about mutual exchange. And he's humble enough to accept that Africa can also benefit the USA. Unlike, because like Trump is not a Democrat, nor a Republican. He's in the middle, but he just thought that, okay, because maybe the Republicans maybe like, uh, have, may have some like pride and prejudice against black people. So let me infiltrate the Republican Party and then I'm going to do, I'm going to change the world. Because a lot of people in America, Republican, Democrats, white, black, they will tell you that no, Africa cannot benefit the U.S. The U.S. has nothing to gain from Africa. But Trump is telling you that no, actually we can do business with Africa and we can benefit from them. And I'm going to show it to you guys soon. Just keep watching. As I have said, the United States is prepared to negotiate mutually beneficial bilateral trade agreements with all countries yeah. the u.s the u.s is ready to negotiate mutually beneficial contract with any country millennium challenge corporation are already considering an investment worth hundreds of millions of dollars in cote d'ivoire which has made impressive economic reforms really done a tremendous job See, Cote d'Ivoire has cleaned up the house, has cleaned up the house and made some progress, some changes. Now a U.S. company is willing to go and invest over there. But now, just keep watching because you're going to say, oh, they're going to go and exploit. No, listen to this. We also hope that African firms like the company Sassol consider making investments in the United States. Sassol, as an example, is building a $9 billion dollar petrochemical plant in Louisiana, which will bring new jobs to the state and really hardworking Americans will be manning those jobs. See, see, if anything, here over here we see that the African company actually has more power, has more investment, has more capital because, see, it's humble enough to admit that Africa can also benefit the USA. The U.S. bought hundreds of millions in Africa, but the African company brings nine billions in America and creates jobs for Americans too. That is a mutual exchange. Instead of exploiting each other like the U.S. going to Africa, taking those resources for themselves and using that for, for themselves. In this case over here, Trump is talking about, let's do this. We're going to go to Africa with what we have. Instead of exploiting them, we're going to manufacture whatever we have to do over there in Africa and that will create jobs for the locals. And instead of taking over the industry and destroy their company, we're going to let the African company also do the same thing, come to America and manufacture things in America while creating jobs for American citizens. But the money is getting paid to Africa because Africa, because the company belongs to Africans. This way, the money goes to the African company and the money goes to the African economy. This is what you call mutual exchange, mutual respect. This man is changing the game over here. Unlike 
the Democrats and Republicans, like the establishment regimes, there's pretty much altered Africans' opportunities to advance and invest and develop their own companies. That's why I'm giving these men a chance. I'm talking about I'm African. So I'm talking about me as an African from an African perspective. All right?